my god chill pills i was trying to set up my audio for a second he's already burned all his bursts with the silence of the chicago he's trying to not give chicago any opportunity to ramp up and recover whatsoever not even giving him a break that's actually incredible that is so much damage. Let's just kind of start to turn it around on the chill pills. Using a lot of mana to stay alive, but chill pills is actually hurting. Damn. It's actually starting to ramp up little by little. Big yellow blast into his back as he has spell warden. I actually do start to think that this spell warden is the pre-nerf version over on PTR. Not all the changes that may have been made on live are made into PTR, which is kind of weird. But then again, like the business waiting for 9 to 5 updates to hit PTR first. Chill is trying to ramp up some damn with a stone on Chicago. Does he have a silence? This could be huge. So tricking for Chicago and reverses all this damage with a single chain harvest. But still, on the trying to burst the silence to fall in Chicago. Could be in trouble. Goblin jumps out of there. Oh, the healing keeping him alive barely does pop a wall. I don't know how they survived it, but they did barely lift it, but live with a hair of health. And that's all they need oh my goodness the enhancement shaman healing oh my god it's so good it's so strong literally survived death <laughs> Chilpa is going for that blind does not have the remorseless winter to stun which if you run the pvp talent of remorseless winter stun you actually get a cooldown on it most winter gets a cooldown because now it's a stun instead of a damage ability which is interesting does try to get himself set up for remorseless winter gonna be ghost for chicago with a grippy hand for chill pills chicago will eventually get stunned Stun is a low and hello chill pills capitalizing on the burst slamming down massive obliterates with uh what is a glacial advance with the tier set just spiking right through the enemy clue is going to be up next with a full stun on chill plus night fame full sepsis burns is that going to be the biggest burst right here ams up for chill plus for that poison damage clue i don't think he's playing that uh 100 crit lego i don't think he's playing the 100 crit lego because you can have the biggest burst possible chill plus under ton of pressure does have a full bar runic power the rogue does not pop evasion just yet silence under the rogue who does go for a vanish reset dk be smacking yeah dk is once to get their tears that are going to smack Kid the shot as your pills does recover a lot of health with the death pack necrotics out a good portion of his health but does give him a bigger health pool to work with clue is still holding on to big defenses vanish out cloak of shot is being used right now trying to go for reset cloak and evasion are both up chill pills will not be able to really touch the rogue but does grip him back in trying to see if he can land build with a bigger blitz gonna be a blind as a rogue goes for a trinket but still i think the rogue does not escape the wrath of this death knight as chill pills is bringing in the wrath of the lich king all by himself in the death knight classic obliterate placed i'm basically saying this man is, is literally classic wrath of lich king incarnate <laughs> is that too good of a is that too good of a <laughs> title gonna be a massive touch of magic big burst of chill pills get silenced out in shadow trying to go for as much self healing as he can versus seaberg who's blasting him out with arcane power gonna be the group but chill pills just trying to go for as much as you see on who has all the time in order to regain whatever health he's gonna lose a chill pills does survive that burst that is also full runic power ready for chill pills as a death that you kind of want to get hit big in order to death strike so you could recover more but when you're already low on health you kind of have to play from behind and the Seawark not giving Chilpas an opportunity to really advance him. He's keeping him fully slowed out from a distance. Death Knight's not really known for mobility. Does get clipped by that Arcade Orb. Basically, he's going for that Manic Bandage. Gonna be, or first aid, because Manic Bandage is more of a hunter PvP talent. Chilpas trying to see if he can amp up big damage. Grippy hand from the A bomb limb is up. Got himself at least a big lockdown on Seawark with a silence. And Seawark does regain all that health from a from temporal. I think it is temporal. I think he's just trying to find an opportunity where he might be able to get some burst into this death day. But so far, the DK using line of sight as best as he can, trying to take Seavark out in a bad position. I think most casters nowadays just want to have gameplay that's, you know, PvP out in the open where they can kite somebody out. Melee kind of like to sneak behind the pillars, force the ranger over to them. Gonna be the ult time for Seavark. He's gonna gain a lot of health back if he survives the stun. Oh, if he survives that stun and sadly he couldn't or he just get it blasted out immediately as shilpos waddles towards him or he is probably gonna have a bunch of defenses available we are gonna be heading into that dampener it's a possible it actually might be yeah i think it's a frost dk maybe he does have enough pressure that's anti-caster that's also anti-arcane mage but that stone burst that was all he needed 
That's crazy. Gonna be Lich born for Chilpas as he's trying to lich some heals from those uh, death coils. Are he gonna be dropping down after chill pills? Gonna be that pet summoned and sacrificed for the death knight, so you may have a bit more longevity versus the shaman into a full, full Morse's Winter, more defensive Morse's Winter than anything. Quick win cheer by Arhi as she was walking out away from the shaman. Does have a full, did have rather a full bar runic power. But he doesn't really have it anymore. Arky got him some big defenses for the Pillar of Frost. Chupas is going to activate every defensive available. Going to be that AMS as well as the Death Pack just to give him as much health as he can. And Chilpa's necrotic out. Can't really heal. And Arky is going to take advantage. Throwing out a big elemental blast. Is going to puncture through the health of Chilpa's. Finally, the necrotics fall off. Chupas can have a potential to recover. But with so much damage and harassed by the shaman. I don't know if there's much you can do. Dust stricken out of the thunder. That's going to be a stun onto Arky. Finally, Chilpa's gets himself a breathing opportunity. Still going to be big damage. Big zaps potentially out of Arky. Once he gets the maelstrom. Shocking down the death knight. Taking him out of the game. Gonna be Scarab Beast attempt. Oh, attempt. Wait, no, he actually did do it. And look at Jifrik was trying to scare Beast Arhi while his ghost. But apparently, he was going after one of the uh, one of the ghost hosts. Arhi is actually under a ton of pressure. Gonna be the stun from G Funk as he's tagging and bagging Arhi with all those dots, all the debuffs of a hunter. Backing up out of this Arhi exchange out with a primordial bolt going for the big light debuffs. Frost Shock by Arhi. And G-Funk back it up out of there. Try to keep the dots rolling. Trying to keep the pressure rolling versus the Shaman as he goes in for... I gotta figure out what the name of this absorb trick it is. But this trick absorbs a portion of the magic damage taken. It offsets magic damage. I guess it's gonna be a magic defense trinket. Again, I gotta have a better name for it. Quick fade in, but G-Funk still gets smacked down. That's gonna be a flush cut. Wait, G-Funk? Oh, he turtled. I didn't realize he turtled. And then he used a uh, flush craft. Freezing trap onto Arhi. Gonna be that big chakra. Get it set up. Potentially big explosive damage onto Arhi. Does pre wallet just to make sure he's extra safe. G Funk backing up out of there. As it's gonna be a massive lightning bolt towards G Funk. Does not have any health. It's gonna be Ghost who's still after him. Medic Banish. Let him recover a little bit. Big Storm, Storm, Storm Strike by Arhi. Does have a trinket for that stun. Could have been really bad for him if he didn't have a trinket there. And next up is gonna be Abe. Looking to capitalize on the pressure that has been laid out by G Funk. And hopefully take down hunt down Arhi. Arhi is playing what looks like an elemental enhancement build, or it's an enhancement build with a lot of elemental damage elements. With a grounding totem and everything. Abe Hunt looking for a bit of a reset with a full cam. Actually, just full reset completely. When Arhi looks at you, does he see just like a floating weapon? Or does he not see anything at all? Do we just see a floating weapon? I doubt it, right? I doubt it. Abe tried to see if he can swing around the corner. Gonna be a stun. Arky does not have a trinket. Doesn't really have much going on right now. He got a heal right now. 36% dampener. Gonna be that silence from the chimeric poison. Arky does get a heal in between, but it is heavily reduced. It looks like Abe does end up taking him out. While Dippy actually gets a chance to play over for the team two versus Abe, given opportunity to completely recover, wants to have as much of an honor duel as he can. While Dippy. Is that kind of an honorable boy? By the way, that mug with the shoulders actually looks kind of sick. It kind of fits. Or at least it looks like it fits. Maybe the flesh cut is makes it all like look kind of all greenish. Obscure. It looks good. I think it looks good. Is this classic? This is classic. And a down coming down while dipping, trying to go for a stun around the corner. That is going to be the tyrant joining in, but the tyrant focus more on the pet rather than Abon. Going to be a fear onto the pet. Pets are fully empowered. Mortal call onto Abon. Does trick it out of it. Does the better both get it set up? Abon could be in really tight spot. I think he went for a faint death there in a bit. And while Dippy might have some big instances, big demon doggers, that's going to be massive demon bolt, something disrupting the manic bandage, hoping to maybe get some CC onto Wild Dippy. Oh, big Ellie Blast. Oh, Ellie Blast. Demon Bolt Blast. Q is going to be up next. That's going to be his name, chat. Let's just roll with it. <laughs> I swear to God, how do you get this name? I really don't understand. Going to be stunned out of Wild Dippy. Tyrants are going to join in. That's going to be also a full fellow dropping in down. Wild Dippy getting blasted out by Decimator Bolts. These demon bolts are going to be massive damage. Does get himself flush count. This is where Q needs to jump down and land an interrupt. Doesn't quite get it. So Wild Dippy gets himself a bit of recovery, but 47% dampening. There's only so much you can do. Mordecai sent onto Q. Does reverse a stun and a Mordecai into Wild Dippy. Might just have him here. Going to be the best stun out of wild dimpy big port as he has himself a hand uh, uh hand wall i was gonna say hand to go down but nope 
Let's see. What is that Warlock Wall again? I forget. Big damage out of Q with the Demon Dog as it looks like everything collapsed and worked out for him. As well, Dimpy did burn a cooldown or two versus the Hunter. Shield Pass with 3 0. Let's go, boys. Or 3 1, rather. I've been telling people DK pumps and no one believes me.